I've missed you. Recently, I mean, through all of quarantine, I've been doing like a lot of introspection, like a lot of just like self-reflection. And it's so interesting because I feel like I really have just like grown so much from who I was when I was a kid. I remember being little and being so afraid to ask for anything. And I don't just mean like giving my order at a restaurant. I mean like anything. <laughs> I was so afraid on stepping on people's toes. I was afraid of taking up space. Um, I was afraid of, you know, living. So I wanted to share, I guess, the message that I would give to my 13 year old self um, if I could talk to her. And I hope that as much as you can, I hope that you can apply this to yourself. I don't want you guys to think I'm just making this video um, so people can hear really personal stuff. I want you um, to take what I would tell my 13 year old self as well. Most of them are apologies. 13 year old Sarah, you are really cute. You don't feel like it. And I know that you don't feel like it. And I'm really sorry for telling you that you're not. I'm sorry that I let you spend time with people who told you that you had something that they wanted, that I let you give up things that you wanted for them. I'm sorry that I let you spend so much time with people that were so afraid of you being bigger than them that you let yourself shrink and you have so much potential. You can do literally anything and I can't believe that I told you that your dreams were stupid. I can't believe that I told you that you needed to stay inside the lines and not draw attention to yourself and I'm sorry that I let you believe that you weren't going to really amount to anything. I'm sorry that I let you think that you were a waste of space and I'm sorry for the times that I told you that. I'm sorry for all the bad relationships I'm going to let you get into because Man, there's so many. <laughs> and if I could, I would give you by name the people that you should stay away from. But ultimately, I mean, you do learn a lot from them. I wish you didn't have to. I wish that you didn't have to feel so much pain in order to grow. I'm sorry for telling you that you were embarrassing or awkward. Because although it's true, <laughs> and you never really grow out of being awkward, um, it's something that people love you for and you are worth loving and you do make a difference and people do see you and it doesn't always feel like that but that's because you are choosing to see it like that because I told you that that's how it was and that was wrong so be big be proud be who you are because once you finally start dressing like yourself and stop listening to people telling you that you can't do things you are going to do so much and people will see it and people will love you for it. Because people are gonna respect you for being different. Because you are. And I hate to tell you this, but you are not a normal kid. That might be hard for you to hear. It might be a little bit surprising even. Um, but trust me on this, not everyone has had your experiences. I wish that I was there for you more. I wish I told you that you were beautiful more. I wish I told you that you were funny and that not everyone laughs at every single joke that everyone makes. So if you ever feel stupid, just know that everyone does that. That happens to everyone. It's not just you. <laughs> you're really brave. You are way more brave than you think you are. And you're gonna do a lot of things that are really brave, including in 10 years when you make a video <laughs> expressing all of your feelings and insecurities when you were 13. Um, but that's because at that point, you're gonna know that everyone feels that way. But you know what, girl, I'm gonna tell you this 13 year old Sarah, other people's opinions don't matter. They don't. Just like your opinion of them doesn't matter, their opinion of you, it has no value. It has no actual currency to it. Girl, I just want you to be happy. And you will be someday, but not every day. And that's okay, because that's life. And you don't have to be happy every day. I love you. And I'm sorry for all the times that I made you feel like you weren't worth loving. But everything else aside, you're gonna be okay because I've seen it. Love, your imperfect but significantly happier 23-year-old self, Sarah.